So you're diving into the world of Raspberry Pi projects? Awesome choice. But hold up a sec. Have you thought about your Raspberry Pi security? Yep. Even in the midst of all that development and tinkering, we've got to make sure our projects are safe and sound from any potential threats. First, let's talk network security. When you're hooking your Raspberry Pi up to the internet or even a local network, you need to make sure that it's locked down tight. So obviously use strong and unique passwords for your Wi-Fi and definitely change those default login credentials faster than you can say, hack me. And also think about using fancier encryption protocols like WPA2 for Wi-Fi. And I strongly recommend using SSH for any kind of remote access so that you can keep your data safe while your Raspberry Pi is zipping around the web. And now about those pesky intruders. Firewalls are like the bouncers at the door of your Raspberry Pi. They keep the riffraff out. You can set these up to control who's coming in and what's going out. And definitely consider adding some extra security to your Pi with intrusion detection systems. Snort, for example, is a great option for doing this on any Linux environment. But Suricata is another choice if you prefer something open source. So what's great about these types of tools is they'll sniff out any kind of suspicious behavior on your network while also giving you a heads up in case something's not right. And now moving on to access controls. You don't want just anyone waltzing into your Raspberry Pi and messing up your stuff, right? So first of all, create separate user accounts with their own permissions and then ditch the default Pi user account for admin stuff and then sprinkle in some file permission to keep your sensitive files safe and sound. Now let's talk encryption. For starters, if you're handling any top secret data on your Raspberry Pi, like sensitive information or financial records, using encryption is a no-brainer. Using tools like Lux or Veracrypt is gonna wrap your data up super tight so nobody can snoop where they shouldn't. Last but not least, don't forget about those updates. You know how your phone bugs you about updating all the time? It's the same deal with the Raspberry Pi. Keeping your operating system and software packages up to date is like putting a fresh coat of paint on all your Raspberry Pi projects. This can help patch up any holes and it also keeps the bad guys out. So to do this, you can either set up those automatic updates on your Raspberry Pi or just get into the habit of checking for them manually yourself. So there you have it folks, your crash course in Raspberry Pi security. And now you can go back out there and continue building those awesome projects, knowing that you've got your back covered. Thanks for watching. And for more on Raspberry Pi security, please consider subscribing to this channel.